Well, it's afternoon and it's Happy New Year. It's January 1st and I've got the tea time. I'm ready to get ready here. I want to tell you, I am so far behind because this is going to post tomorrow. And what I'm making, and let me explain what I'm doing. I am actually having a party, a card party, on Friday the 13th where six ladies, that's including myself, are coming to the card party. And what we are doing is each woman brings six cards that I just put together. Um, I got a piece of fuzz in there. Uh, just put together, or not put together, just like put together in a little baggie, all the pieces. And then that person that brings her, whoever, like I will bring this tea time card, and each one of the ladies will bring their own card, and I will instruct everyone on how to make this particular card. They will instruct on how to make their own card. At any rate, this is the tea time that we put together on the gypsy, and now we have to score it at four and a quarter inches. Score it, because it's going to be a regular, um, and you know what? I just scored on the wrong line. Score at four and a quarter. and score again at eight and a half, which will be this little mark right here. And since I haven't got it lined up on the edge, I'm being very careful. I already scored one wrong that I'm going to have to deal with. And I want to score two wrong. And anyway, when we leave the card party, each one of us will have six cards, five of which are designed by another woman and then one that we design. Doesn't that sound like fun? And it's kind of awesome because it gives us the opportunity to learn from other people, their skills, learn from them, and um, be able to move on. See how I scored this right at the edge there where the two met? And the same thing with this one. I want to get it straight and score it. I'm spending so much time talking and not enough time just doing. But what else is new, right? I make lots of videos and I talk a lot. And that is also scored to form our little pocket. As you can see, that'll fold over like that and like that. Oops, went the wrong way. Like this. <laughs> Backwards. This and like this. Score up, and my little tea bags will fit in there. And the card will be like, oops. Like that. And I scored it funky, remember? So that's why I'm having a hard time. So I'm gonna get it on the right score mark there. Thank goodness this is gonna have a cover. And so it'll fold like this, and the tea bags will fit right inside. Now I'm going to put you on hold because guess what I forgot? My tacky tape and my tea bags. So I'll be right back. Anyway, I'm back. Got the tacky tape. And all you need to do is take a pair of scissors and trim those, t those edges. Just take a little bit off. So it just folds nicely. See how I've got that? Like that. It's just easier to do that than try to make the other. Okay, take your tacky tape. And put it on the edges like that. As soon as I find the end. Here it is. Now these cards that we make, we have to be able to put them together within 10 minutes time. Of course, with six women chatting, I mean, if I can take longer to doing this with you on here, you know that they're gonna chat. And the cards will probably take about 15 minutes a piece to put together. But that's okay. We'll have a lot of fun, have some goodies, 
And of course, I have prizes in that. So it'll be lots of fun. And I, it, you know what the neatest part about the whole thing is getting together with six ladies and being able to scrap or make cards with them. Okay, got it on both sides here, as you can see, here and here. Turn your side down and bring it in. It's that simple. Now you've got a little little pocket. As you can see, it's a pocket card. Now, I like to use my tea. This is the kind of tea. And you can get them um, in the bags. Twinings has them. And as you can see, it'll easily fit in the cards. And you can even stamp on here. I'm not going to stamp on it. I'm actually going to write something down there to the person. But the tea bags fit nicely. But we're not done with the card yet, so let's get to work. And I um, am going to do the cover. On the cover, I took a 375 by 5 inch card and I ran it through my cuddle bug. Even though it's a pattern paper, it still gives it plenty of. Um, texture and depth to it, which is what I wanted with this card. I want a nice, firm, and an attractive card. Now you could put ribbon on it. I decided to keep mine simple because I'm going to put a teapot on the front. And another thing I'm missing, I can't believe it. Okay, isn't that pretty? Now, be right back. Okay, back again. Sorry about that. You can tell I'm a little bit frazzled because I'm so far behind. The design is excellent. And I'm going to make that card file available, but you need to know that this card file will make eight cards. You have to cut out the base eight times, but then the teapots and the uh, tea time, you only need to cut one time because it will print eight. It will print all eight, which is kind of cool. Now, I wanted to pop up the teapot. And we're going to use, this won't be all the way ready, the final pictures will show it because it's going to have to dry. We're going to use, I got some Martha Stewart glitter and I got some Skittles. And I'm going to put the teapot on the front, just centered on the front, like that. And I put, um, I inked all around the edges of the teapot. Isn't that cute? No, it's not done yet. We have to put the tea time. And you know what I don't like is the fact that I goofed up on that scoring. So I've got to really get that firm on there. That's better. There. Now, let's get the tea time on. Got out my zip dry glue. And the letters are, of course, from Mickey, the Mickey font. I love the Mickey font. It's one of my favorite fonts. I finally bid on eBay last night and got the Pooh font. Winnie the Pooh's font. I've been trying to get that thing at a reasonable price for two, three months. And I finally got it last night. Would you believe I picked it up for $12.52? And 10 minutes earlier I bid on it and it went for $30. But I just got lucky. Caught it during the dinner hour, I guess. Tea time is on here.
cut my fingernails off the other day. I broke one below the line, so it's really hard for me to work without my fingernails. It seems odd. Ah, isn't that pretty? Tea time. Now, we need to kind of let that dry while that's drying. I want you to see, I got these Martha Stewart glitter glues. And I thought if there's a color close, but I think I'm going to stick with and use my stickles right now because it's open as long as it's working. And then I'll use the gold off of that. Because my teapots that I have in my house have a ton of gold on them. I think I'm, I think that I am just attracted to the ones with the gold on it. And I've got a stick in this. A sticky. Ah. Guess we're getting the Martha Stewart one out. And hubby's coming out. I got a video going, honey. Nope. So unless you want to be in it, hush. <laughs> he's going to join us. I guess he's going to show us what to do. This is the Martha Stewart glitter glue. And what we have to do with our cards is we have to make sure that all any stickles that you have on, the stickles are already put on so that it's not done at the party because there just won't be enough time for it to dry to carry it out, of course. And then I want gold on the bottom line here. And gold on the handle. And stickles always looks kind of funny until it dries. But it'll give you an idea of what I'm doing here. I've got it on pretty thick. I'm going to even it out a little bit. And then my teapots always have this little gold rim at the very tip of the teapot. Don't know why, but it does. It's kind of clumpy here. Spend more time stickling than I did putting that silly card together. Okay. And that's our card. That simple. You'll see it when it's dry. Fold that thing again. They always act funny until they're dry. Why is that? Oh, might help if I did that too. This has a lot of bottom weight to it. There we go. And my counter is all slippery, so that's hard too. And that's our car. Thank you. Bye now. Also, I forgot to tell you. I cut out, I used one of those little butterfly uh, punches and punched out some butterflies with the leftover uh, glitter paper. And I'm gluing some of these little butterflies right on the front of the teapot so it kind of matches the inside. And they'll stand out because they're glittery. And it's hard to take a picture of this now because it's all wet. But what I'll do is I'll I'll put um, I'll put a picture up of it when it's completely in, done and it's dry. But it is kind of pretty. Let 
but I like to send my friends, and I told you that at Christmas time, I like to send them little things of tea or hot chocolate in their cards. And then I stick a little note. I usually type the note though while I'm sitting at work or something. Type it and stick it in there. Boy, these little butterflies are tiny little things. And then I've got some little butterflies that are kind of hard to see. I guess I'll get up there and show you. Card's going to look funny, the gold on it, because it isn't going to lie flat until it dries. But you can see that the paper from the teapot is glittery, so it shines. And then, of course, the inside, the tea time. Isn't that cute? Thank you. Have a great day. Bye now.